Hi everybody, I'm Lance Eaton, and in this little, uh, I guess, screencast, we're going to take a look at making rich, content-laden videos uh, that don't require necessarily a whole lot of programming skills, and are largely based through using three web-based tools. So you don't have to necessarily install things or learn a whole new set of uh, programs and things like that. These are things that can be done directly through your browser. So the first thing I'm going to show you, we're going to start with, with Google Presentations, and then we're going to t take a Google Presentation and import it into a Prezi. And after we import it into a Prezi, we're going to use Screencast-O-Matic as a means of pulling it or, or recording it and talking over kind of the, the, visual the visual things that you've created. So let's start first with Google Drive. If you don't have a Gmail account, I recommend getting one and taking advantage of their Drive, which is both their, uh, their cloud-based storage as well as cloud-based programs such as Document, which is a word processing program, Presentation, which is a presentation program, uh, Spreadsheet, which is a spreadsheet program, and Form, which is a database program. So I'm going to click on presentation and it's going to open one up and the first thing it's going to ask me is for a theme. I am going to go with simple light but they do have an array of different themes for you to take a look at. So you hit the OK, you're good to go. I typically recommend naming uh, your presentation right off the bat. So I'm going to name this my awesome presentation because it is going to be awesome by the time I'm done. All right, so let's give it a title. So that's again my awesome, uh, I should capitalize all of that, my awesome presentation, just for emphasis, right? And we'll give it a subtitle, that would be by me, who else? And so I've got my title page. I now want to add a few more slides. I'd go up to this new slide button up here, this plus sign, and I'll t just toss three right in there. So on my next slide, maybe I want to put in a image, but I have several different options under insert. I could do a text box, I could do video, word art, lines, uh, shapes, tables, I can um, import slides from other programs, all those kind of things. So let's go with an image. And again here, Google gives me a variety of options. I can upload, I can take a snapshot, I can, if I have the URL, I can pull from my own Google Drive, or I can search Google to find just the right image. So I'm going to click on choose an image to upload, and I'm going to insert this telephone. And once it's there, I'm just going to maximize it, make sure we got the full image on our screen. That looks great. Um, and on this one, I'm just going to insert one more image just for the fun of it. So let me choose another image to import, and let me see if I can find anything cool to insert. Um, yeah, let's go with let's go with something artistic. So we have a telephone, and then we have a wonderful painting. All right, and on this third page, I always recommend people to do their work cited or their image sources cited. Um, so you would put your image sources sources here to give credit to where you had gotten them from. All right, so my presentation is done. It's looking awesome. It's fantastic. I am ready to do something more with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to save. It. I'm going to download it as a PowerPoint. Uh, this is the other cool thing about Google is that you have several different options. You can download as a PowerPoint, as a PDF. Uh, it's always up here in Google, so so long as you have access to a browser, you could also just hold on to it that way. But for purposes of using Prezi, I'm downloading this as a Microsoft PowerPoint. It's going to hopefully at some point download that. Now. I will go over here to Prezi, and if you haven't gotten a, a Prezi account yet, I highly recommend it. Uh, I would also recommend that you, you, if you do, you sign up with a education, you sign up for an educational license, which, if you have a school email account, will give you, will allow you to sign up for that educational license and give you additional uh, space and, and options. So once in my Prezi, I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna start a new Prezi. And this can take a minute or two. As you, as you can see down here, license for educational use only. Uh, this is what I've done. So again, in here we have, just like within 
Google presentations, we have an option of templates. They're giving us some ideas of, well, what could you use that would make this interesting, that could help you uh, lay out your ideas better. I'm actually going to go with blank because I don't need the templates for this one, but I certainly have used the templates. They're extremely useful in this regard. So the first thing you'll see is a giant circle um, and being compelled to click to add text. This is your first step along your path, as you can see down this left-hand side. I will typically, if I'm importing a, pres uh, importing a uh, PowerPoint, I will typically delete this because I really don't need it. I'll come up here to Insert, and under Insert I have a variety of choices, but I want to go right down here to PowerPoint. And that's going to ask me which PowerPoint would I like to present, would I like to upload? My awesome presentation is clearly going up there. And over here on the right, it's going to start to upload it. Uh, under while that's uploading, under templates, you have several different types of templates that you can use. You can save and create your own templates. I'm going to go with the manifesto theme. And notice, voila, it changed magically. So now I have my manifesto. Um, I could come back and decide if I want to do any more of this. I can insert a, a YouTube video. I can also add background music or background reading, uh, narration that is. Um, and under insert here, I can certainly add brackets, uh, circles. These are great when you're creating your path. If you're not using, uh, if you're not importing a presentation, I can do. I can draw arrows and lines. I can highlight. Uh, so I can do a variety of things within. This is slowly uploading, but one of the things is I can choose to insert all of the slides that I've created, or I can just click them one at a time. So I can click, drag, and bring this guy over here. Maybe this is where I want to put him. And if I did, then I'd hit the check, and I would be it would insert it there, and I would be ready to go. Otherwise, I'm just going to hit the X and cancel that out. All right, now that we have these four, as I said, we can drag individually or we can insert all. And when we do that, we're going to be given a selection or a range of choices on what that layout will look like. Uh, so this might depend on to, th this might depend on how you want to, the information to look or to move through it. I'm going to go with caterpillar because I just think that's kind of cool and insert it. And so again, it gives you a prompt. This is what you want to do. And I'll hit check. And notice when I hit check, they not only solidified here, but along this left side, they have now shown up as steps in my path. So if I wanted to go to the first one, I can click right on it, and I can notice, well, I need that, I need that to be a bit bigger, because this is my awesome presentation, right? And that really needs to stick out, and this should probably stick out as well. All right, so I've fixed that. That looks great. I can go over and look at how the phone is looking. The phone looks fantastic. And look at the painting. Painting looks fantastic. And oh, I guess there are some things I need to tweak here. The work cited needs to be bigger, as do the sources. So I've created my presentation. I have my four steps that I can move about. And now what I would do is I'd go over to Screencast O Matic. And the Screencast O Matic you would hit the start record button the first time you do this you're going to be prompted to install a, a Java applet you can OK it it is safe for your computer and you will want to it will download and then you'll get a screen I can't really show you that screen because I'm essentially using it in the making of this screencast uh, but certainly go to the site they have really great tutorials it's very very simple to hit the record and the, the, the start recording and then the recording button and move right through it so essentially what you would do is you would hit that start record that start record you would get your Prezi set up and you would hit the present button and this would make it full screen and you would move through your presentation, talking about it, explaining each step of the process, guiding your audience through it, and finish, and then you would hit the pause button. So this is the way you can kind of take a presentation or a PowerPoint, turn it into something more lively, and then turn it into a screencast that you can make available for uh, your different audiences. So for your students or things like that, it's a really great light tool. It can save you a lot of 
time and having to repeat things because now you know these materials are already out there for your students or for your for your audience uh, and it can get to be kind of fun and kind of addicting and you know there, there's lots of times in which I'm trying to think about well how can I capture this and put it on uh, make it available to others so that's my demonstration I hope these tools have been useful and have been insightful um, please let me know what you think either in the comments below or by sending me an email uh, thank you very much for your time